Hey, I'm just Roscoe and we're back in Biggles Wade, where roads are looking bad in certain parts of the city, which I'm going to completely ignore for the time being. Uh, we do have a derelict building there though, so let's get rid of that one. Now, in today's episode, there's a few things I want to do. I think we should go over to Gleaver Manor and add some more zoo items, because I'm sure I've got some new ones. So if we go to zoo, what have we got? I'm sure we've got new. We've got the reptile house. Have we put that in yet? Yes, there. Okay, so that's flamingo enclosure. That's definitely new. I'm thinking that... Oh, no, go away, university. You're no good to me at the moment. I'm thinking that would be ideal there. Like that. And then what's this? Elephant enclosure. Everyone loves an elephant. Uh, let's get the elephant in here, I think. I think that would be good. Like that. And finally... Sea life enclosure. Ooh. Okay, so we need some more power for that. So let's go and grab some path. We will bring this down this way. Like so. Let's connect the flamingo one up as well. Onto there like that. And you can join onto there as well. And I'm actually tempted to take one from here as well. Can I take one from there onto here? No. Just going to be weird. Okay, that's fine. If you don't want to. Let's have a look at the flamingos. Is there lots of flamingos? I like how you've got all the little flamingos walking around. I'm not keen that you get entertainers with every enclosure you put down. That seems like a lot of entertainers for one zoo. Oh, look at the elephants. How nice is that? They've got their own little pool here. Is that a pool? I presume that's a pool. It doesn't look great water but we'll ignore that for the time being there's a lot of baby elephant there's a lot of elephants in general in this enclosure like a lot but if that's what people want what's this building here then elephant park hmm i feel that you can get quite close to these elephants although this is an electric fence according to that sign there uh what were we doing we putting in the uh, the sea life the sea life center. So. Hello. Shoreline required. Well, I don't have a shoreline, so that's not helpful, is it? Oh. Can I put that over here, then? Oh, I can. Oh, how cool is that? Let's do that. Let's put it there. I know it's probably going to be really annoyed because it's... Oh, wait, it's got a little, little boat and everything. Wait, we need to come out of this. <laughs> um, I feel that might not work there with the, the height problems. Although it does put... I'm confused how these creatures just stay in this one location. There doesn't seem to be any netting around or anything. They can just swim around, right? Do you know what? Maybe there's an elevator in here which allows them to go down to here. That's what I'm going to go with. Yep, that's definitely what I'm going to go with. So that can stay there. I quite like that there. It doesn't seem to need a park area either. Which is really cool. So that's our sea life. Our sea life centre. Smack bang on the river there. Lovely. Um, so now we basically need to wait for this to... What have we got? How do I get size entertainment until next level? Uh, we've beat that. Total visitors until next level. We've got 3,400. We need 5,000. So let's speed it up so they can carry on doing that. We're going to go over this side and add some more housing in because we do have some demand for housing. So why not? Uh, I'm probably going to start a new area. This isn't going to be the nicest area to live in. We're going to say it's like a, a cheap, affordable living. Because it is right next to the industrial zone, which is not always a good thing. Okay, so let's click on here. We're going to go themes. Uh, enable theme management. We don't want industry. We don't want office block. Let's just go um, semi-detached. How about that? Or UK suburbs. That might be better. Let's go UK suburbs and see what we get. 
So we need some roads. This is like a new build area, I think. This is gonna be like they've they've extended the city and they found this they bought this field and that's where they want to put a load of houses. Not taking any any notice of the fact that there's all that industry over there. So let's go with Suburban Street. You can come up here. I do want a bit of a bend on do you know what? Let's go straight for the a minute. And then we can go straight from there. And we can have sort of like a roundabout on the entrance to the area. So if I go with that one, we are going to find a roundabout, that one. And I'd like you to be probably 20. We only want a little roundabout. Now, did you use the right roads? Yes, it did. It's having a funny five minutes, though. Hello? Are you going to come back to life? No? Well, this is embarrassing. It's alive! Woo! Um, I didn't know putting a roundabout in would cause it so much issue, but apparently it does. Why are you even in here? There's nothing here. La la la. Okay, so we want to go probably... Let's mix the roads up a little bit. Let's go you there and you there. Then we can go around this way. And then we can have tiny little roads coming off like that. Like little Cody sacks. Which will work. I'm determined they'll work. If you go there like that and then you come off that way. Perfect. Uh, let's get bend back on. And then we want you to probably do a nicer bend than that how about that and then you can keep going and then we can get the suburban road and that can join onto there as well as coming up here wait i find straights better for doing little bits of road so you can go off there you can go off there and then we can have a tiny road coming off of there that seems to work for me. Uh, let's get some piping in. And especially if you work in the industries or the, the offices over this way, I suppose this would be an ideal place to live. Ish. As long as we keep the distance from the industry, they should be happy. Uh, let's get some green areas in. Hopefully that will help. Now this could be another case of they're not going to build over here. That is very likely. We could look for a little park, actually. That normally helps things out. What do we want? Little dog park. That'll be nice. How about we put that... Oh, I don't know. How about there? And then we can get a school as well. What sort of school do we want? We want just a little... Um, I suppose it should look more modern. Russian high school. Oh, that's quite small as well. That's not a bad option. We could put that on the way in. I'm going to say yes. Let's have a look at that. I don't think I've used this one before. Oh, I do like the colours on it. Yeah, see, that's ideal for what we want. Uh, we could probably get some retail in here as well. So if I do a bit there and a bit there. I don't think I want too much retail on the other side. That's just good. We'll put a tiny bit here and here. Like that. And the rest can be just grass verge on that side. Um, here we should probably put a house in there. Why not? And they are building, which is nice. Let's get that on. We're just filling all this area, I think. Just like that. Perfect. So that should start springing up and sort of meet in demand. Where else do we want to bring roads? We should probably... Oh no, I've done a straight road there. That that needed a bit of a bend on it, in all fairness. Suppose we could go like that. Although I'm not... No, no. You can go that way, and then you can go over there. And we're going to have a weird bit of road there. Because it doesn't go anywhere. We could do a sort of tiny little road like a one-way road in so if you want to come in this way you can 
think that's a good idea. We're going to go some water up that way and possibly up this bit of road here. Let's get some more housing in. Hopefully this will encourage them to build those offices. That would be really nice if they could. I feel that you need to be a bit of shopping in there and then we can get the rest of this can be offices. Again, we'll have some small shops on the edges of the build on the edges of the roads like here. That seems an ideal place for some shops and then some more offices. Not that they're building the offices. We do have a lot of burnt down items here. Do we need a... Oh, it's because there's not enough workers, it reckons. It keeps telling me not enough workers. So why is there demand for it? Have I not got a fire station over here? I'm sure I put one in. I did there. Why are you going that way? The fire's over... Th Hello? No? Why is no one driving up that road? Have I done something weird there? Nope, they can definitely go up that road. Where's the fire brigade? The fire brigade's coming. Don't burn down. Okay, so that's good. That is going well. What else? Do we need any more residential? We could probably do with a little bit. I'm... It's commercial they need the most. So we could put a big block of commer a bit more commercial in and then some... I was going to say some offices, but they're not using them anyway. I don't really want commercial right down here because there's so much traffic flowing this way as it is. What if we do that and then we can take a road off of here? Like so. And we could even put housing along this road. Would they live there? Probably not. I don't actually know what we're going to do along here. But it is an ideal opportunity to get some more of this commercial in. So you can be commercial. You can as well. And you can. We're going to get some green housing here and here. And possibly there and there as well. And there, maybe? Do you know what? I'm going to put residential here. Why not? Let's do it. And then we can bring small little roads off that would extend eventually, but obviously we can't go any further on the map. So at this point, it's not going to. Can we get one in there? Or maybe not. We could get some trees in there. I don't want to overdo it. We do need some more trees over this way. So you can go green, you're green, and you are. Perfect. Not that we've got much demand for housing at the moment. We should definitely finish off this area. So you need to come round this way. And then you'll go up along the coast, I think. I think that would be ideal. And then you can come along there. Perfect. And then we'll just have small bits of road coming off this way and it's all a dead ends. We like our little dead ends. It makes the roads look interesting. That's what I think. So you can go here somewhere. Hello. Perfect. And then we'll have one more here, just like that. And you can have one coming off the bottom and then one coming off there. Yeah, I think that's good. Here, I'm thinking probably we'll just have something like that. And then we can get some piping in. Because you don't want to live in a house without water. I actually, I've actually um, spent probably the last 10 years till recently living in a house without hot water. It had water, but not hot water. And I know you can get hot water pipes in this game. Do is that the, yes, there look. We've got this. Uh, which I think only applies when I don't know. I presume that only can I upgrade? Let's try this. Yeah, so you end up with hot water pipes. I presume that only applies with the Oh, uh, what's he called? This the snow biome. 
which was a bit of a disappointment when that DLC came out because I was expecting it to be so you had seasons in the game, um, which I think a lot of people were. I don't know why I'm doing this. I want to see if it actually makes a difference to people. Will this make this a more desirable place to live? If we connect that onto there, and then we'll... What do we need? we got a boiler station, or that. Do you know what? We might go with that. Can I put that on there a second? Thank you. And now we need to grab some pipes. You're going to go onto there, and then we're going to upgrade this. Because I don't actually know if people in actually need heating unless it's a snowy town this is the only part of the city that is heated so i'm hoping it is not a thing that is necessarily needed there we go perfect see people want to live here because of the heating let's go this way all the way around Although I can't imagine it would be the city's place to supply hot water. Or it might be. In the UK, we have boilers in our house which supply hot water. So I find this a bit strange. But if houses start popping up left, right and centre and there's no issue. Like no one's thinking twice about moving here. That proves that the heating does actually do something. But I don't think it does. Uh, let's go there. I'm going to get as much housing in here as possible. So if we go along there like that. I suppose Mr. Tweety up here would tell me if they wanted heating. I've probably been ignoring it all this time because he does annoy me up there. We are adding a lot more traffic into this area, which I'm a little concerned about because it is one way in, one way out. There is no other join on to the motorway here. You have to come down the motor. Well, I say the motorway. The bypass, I should call it. I do love that bridge. Is that a fishing ship? It is a fishing ship. So does the ship for my sea life center actually move? I've actually lost the sea life center. There it is. Do you actually go out and about? Oh, they've had tourists. That's good. We've got a fire down the front there. That's probably not a good sign. Hello, fire brigade. Anyone? Okay, let's go over to the zoo and see how many people's visited. We've had... F oh, 4,400. We're getting closer. Definitely getting closer. Have a quick sip of my tea. Yorkshire, of course. I really annoyed that, that they, like, they've included this in the zoo. Because it's not really part of a zoo, is it? I'd have preferred another animal enclosure. Our unis never seem to do very good. If anyone can give me a tip for the future, because obviously after we finish Biggleswade, we are going to move on to a futuristic city. I think that's uh, where we're going to head next. And I'd like my unis to actually do some good. They, they never seem to get anywhere. And I don't know why. I put money into them. We, we've got a fair size area here. But always two star. <coughs> so if you have any tips on that, please put it in the comments below. That would be lovely. Uh, okay, so demand for housing is just gone completely. Are you happier with heating? Does it? It doesn't really tell you any information about it. Lots of uneducated people. You not enough workers. Not enough workers. So why is there demand? That's the bit I don't get. Do we have to put... How's our health care doing? Deaf care is good. Child care is good. Elder care is good. Okay, so we're doing really well for that. Um, crime is very low. 6%. Ooh, fire safety is not great. How much do these cost? 560 a week upkeep. I suppose that's not too bad. We could put one in here. Because apparently this is quite a red area. Oh, what about there? Okay, so that makes them happy. 
these people here are red as well like i build these little roads and one-way systems and that because they look good but it doesn't work with how how things work in this game so when i put this down you'll see the you'll see the roads go green and that's sort of the influence of this if you've got lots of dead ends in that it just doesn't <coughs> sorry it just doesn't reach up there i think i'm dying i've got the plague clearly i was actually perfectly fine until i started recording and now i feel like i've got a code see it's really bad over here as well i think we're gonna have to knock a couple of oh there's a path there though isn't there Huh. Where can I put you this? There, I suppose. That would be a great location. And people are happy. Not many people are happy, but people are happy. I'm thinking there would be a good location. So that's all gone blue as well. This bit in the middle, not so much. How are we doing over here? Not well at all. There's a lot of red. Hmm. It's because I don't have... It's long roads. It doesn't like long roads. It, these aren't even dead ends up here, and they're still not working well with it. But this side of the city is looking much bluer now. I don't know why they're not blue. Because the roads are the roads are red. Anyway, moving on. Oh, wait. That was fire brigade. Uh, policing's fine. Education. We've done that, have we? Elementary. Hello? Can I... No? You're just going to stay on the high school, are you? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, public transport. Oh, we've got like, colours. What do colours mean? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Do I get a key for this colour system? No? Public transport over here is amazing, apparently. I don't know what red means. Does that mean you can't get to public transport or act? It doesn't give me a, a key for the color system. Or maybe it does. Switch view. Switch view, income in demand, outgo in demand. Okay, so we get a lot of income in. Incoming from where? From outside of the city? From what? See, this is why I don't look into these maps and things, because then I start asking questions of why are, the, why are these red? Incoming demand. I'd imagine the train stations, but... Does that mean people want to come to these locations? Uh, and if so, why particularly this, this tower block and not the rest of them? We'll just put that map away. Wow, there's a lot of traffic coming down here. Oh, God. Oh, that's another thing I meant to put in over at Gleaver Manor. Let's go over there. We're going to put in a car park because this is getting quite full all the time. So if we grab another dirt road, which is here somewhere. There we go. And I feel we could go from there. Can I have a straight bare road, please? To there, and then we can put a car park down here. <laughs> oh, you're not going to, are you? Oh, because it's got to be a proper road. How did I do it there, then? Did I put proper road and then replace it? I think I may have done that. So let's do that. Let's go here. We're going to put one in there, and then we're going to replace the road for what we actually want. Which is that one. Perfect. So that gives them a bit more sort of car park in there. We should probably put some sort of... Well, fence, I was going to say. But I wanted this to feel like it was part of it. But then without a fence, you could just walk into here. Huh. That is a valid point. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll go. Let's go and get the zoo. Although I'd like to put one in the... Can we get a fairground? We can. Oh, we might have to add a fairground at some point. We've also got tourism and leisure, which is something I haven't done. I like that tour ship, though. 
I'm not actually going to have a dock, so... And these are really high up. The only way this would work would be... I don't know. There's nowhere actually low enough on this map. The next map I'm thinking of with the futuristic city is maybe a tropical island. I think that might be a nice contrast. Can I put this on? No, I can't put it on the ground. That's fine. Just asking. Uh, I got distracted. Let's go and get the, the fence. Fence, fence, fence. There we go. We're going to take probably just from there to there. Just so it feels like it's got its own separate area. I'd really like to have put like a big wheel in here or something like that. I don't want you on. Go away. There we go. But we have to put an actual entrance, don't we? Ah, oh, that's a little bit, a little bit annoying. Because it would have all worked really well in the same location. Come on, Zoo. What have you got for me? A uh, couple more people. We're on 4997. So we need three more people. Two more people. Come on. There we go. So we got Monkey Palace and we got Giraffe Enclosure. So it's definitely getting bigger and better. Uh, where are we going for that? We're going into parks. We are going into zoo. And let's go and get what we've just unlocked, which was the giraffe enclosure, which is normally by the elephants, right? Both African, so yes. Has it got its own path, has it? Apparently so. Okay, so how about... How about we do it over... He no. I wanted it next to the elephants. Can I get it in there? There would be good. Perfect. Um, what have we got here? Monkey Palace. Where would that look right? Uh, it's not going to fit in there. It could fit in there nicely. So it looks like it was part of the manor house originally. I don't actually know what it looks like. So let's go and have a look. Uh, can we have some paths? Did you just break all my... Why? Why would you break all my paths? Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> Wait, can you... Ugh, I'm going to have to go... Yeah, but I'm going to... Let's just get rid of that, because it's just ruined my whole path system there. Can you come around... Oh, let me just put anarchy on. That might help. So we're going to try and make this line back up. Luckily, we have the move it mod. So you come in there like that. It's not going to look like it did. And you can go there. See, now that monkey thing I put down on this level. So you think it would be perfectly fine there. What's that? That's a zoo plaza like we've got over there. We've got one of those over this way as well. You're not attached to the path, apparently. So let's grab some zoo path. We're going to connect you onto there. He says. Perfect. There we go. And let's go and have a look at the giraffes. There is a lot of animals in these enclosures. Oh, look at the babies. And from here, you can actually see the giraffes and elephants. I think that's really cool. Okay, so that works. Uh, now we can get this path coming round this way. Maybe this is like a picnic area. A picnic. Uh, we could probably get a coffee shop over here. Zoo cafe there. And possibly a souvenir shop. And yeah, you probably need some restrooms. Then let's go and get that monkey palace. I'm going to say that's going to fit over here nicely. Like that. They're going to want water, so we can do that. Uh, no, I want code water, please. We only supply uh, hot water in that one location just to make up for the fact that it is right next to an industrial zone. That's what I'm going with. See, that's really nice, that. I don't know why it's on a hill, but it is. What monkeys have we got in there? Um, chimpanzees from the looks of it. 
And gorillas. Yeah, definitely chimpanzees and gorillas. I'm guessing there would be more monkeys inside the building. Oh, there's one there. What's that? That's a gorilla as well, I think. Really? Maybe a separate one in that compared to the rest of it? Could be a male gorilla when they started fighting, so they separated them. Okay, so we're currently at four stars. To get our next um, area, we've already done it on entertainment-wise. We need to get 10,000 visitors. We're only halfway there, so the likelihood of this being finished in this episode is slim so we can do that in the next episode which is probably going to be the last one of Biggles Wade. Uh, Biggles Wade is probably going to finish this week and then we will start our new city in some tropical island set in the future maybe if I can get it all to work next week so if you're looking forward to that and you haven't done already subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss it um, I'm going to throw a few trees in here ready for the next episode and until then I'll see you again.